Merry Christmas, Burning Dog fans, and welcome back to The Evil Within, quite possibly the least festive video game ever made. <laughs> Last time, well, the last time was actually uh, my sort of Yule Log video for Christmas Eve of Kidman just petting a cat for ten minutes. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. But this time, uh... Oh, first I should actually say, last time, for reals, I finished off The Consequence, the second of the two chapters of uh, DLC that focus on uh, supporting character Julie Kidman. And they filled in a lot of blanks with the story. I thought they were actually very good. Uh, this time, we're going to take a look at the third and final DLC chapter. The Executioner. As the Keeper, infiltrate the Victoriano estate and rescue your missing daughter. So that raises all kinds of questions, because as I pointed out before... The Keeper, a creature created from a blend of Ruvik's final memories before he was dismembered, and his fury at having his research stolen from his safe. Anyone who approaches the safe is killed, and their severed head added to those in the sack. So, uh, yeah. This guy is meant to be just a manifestation of uh, yet another one of Ruben Victoriano's issues. So, uh, this is gonna be interesting. Finding out how he's going to save his daughter. So without further ado, let's jump in. Oh, well, this is new. And scary. Of course it is. Where's the options look like here? Alright. Oh god, please don't do that. Uh, this DLC chapter came out on May 26th, 2015. So again, about a month after the last one, and in total about seven months after the main game. Sorry about that, I needed to make an adjustment to something. Uh... But yes, really all I know about this one is that you play as the Keeper and the release date. So, uh... Without much else to say... I guess let's play the Executioner. Of course, the memory scanner. Why wouldn't I think of that?
Oh my god, it's in first person. Alright, so I'm not really the keeper, per se. I'm just... loaded into the Matrix as the keeper. No? Okay, sorry to someone read all of the uh, lore in the previous DLCs. Mobius Directive 01, Establish Synchronization. Final test subject has been successfully inserted and attunement with a safe-headed creature has been verified. You should be able to use your our carrier wave to scan for residual traces of strong emotions. New directive files will be transmitted for placement into the environment. Okay, so... This is new. Rather than just popping into stem as myself, I'm... taking control of the Keeper. Rather than literally being the actual Keeper who isn't a real person. Interesting. I already know the right, the right trigger is the hammer button. I wonder if that hurts as much to hold as it looks. Ha! Ah. Do I have a light? Whoa. I guess I know what the memory scanner is. I can crouch. I have to hold it down, though. No, you don't want that? Fine. Okay. I wasn't finding dollary dues, is anyone else? But then I guess the keeper actually lives here. The monsters did tend to ignore each other, although there were exceptions. I don't actually know if uh, the haunted will give a shit about me. Maybe they'll be able to sense I'm not really the keeper. I wonder if they told this guy that, uh, he was walking into a horrific nightmare world. I found Run. Oh god. I do love that kicking is his default means of opening a door. If you hit it twice, he rips it off the hinges and kills you with it. I was not expecting first person, I gotta say. Actually, I'm mildly disappointed by that. I've been looking forward to screenshots of uh, me wandering around with a barbed wire covered safe on my head. Or as my head, it is unclear. Hey, Oscar. Yes, sir. You really want to do this, buddy? Okay. Knock, knock. I, uh, well, it didn't punch its jaw off, but it came off. I'm very confused now, because that is not how Oscar died. 
Also, they're implying this is, is happening after Ruvik's death. Which I suppose on the plus side means he won't be messing with me. But on the negative side, it also means he, uh... No, actually there's really no negatives to that. Unless the world is lacking structure somehow. I mean, I was under the impression that uh, STEM turned people into monsters because Ruvik wanted it to. Although I suppose if uh, my daughter is still uh, losing her mind, that's uh, problematic. Oh. There's a running jab, I guess. Is it one of those games where you tap the stick and it makes a difference to your swing? No, but there does seem to be a combo, at least. This is very different. I'm curious about something, I have to say. The Keeper's signature thing is that he can't die. Or rather, that he doesn't stay dead when he does. Hey, Laura. Don't mind me. Oh, gone. Daughter's Die, everyone. Dad, the doctor said you were going to come to help me. Are you ever going to get here? There are monsters all over the place. I'm going crazy. Over my dead body. It's not as much fun when I know he doesn't care. Either because he's gone or because he's dead, it's unclear. All we know is that after Leslie woke up in the real world, he wandered off, and that's kind of his signature move. Oh. Didn't actually expect that to work. I guess... There's probably going to be some kind of explanation as to, uh... Oh, you're not really the Keeper, so you can't come back to life. Knock, knock. Hello? Of course. I don't know why I was surprised. Fifty coins? Where am I gonna find all these coins? Uh oh, I thought it said 120 coins for a second there. Huh. I like that image. That seems very helpful. I'm gonna be honest, I was not expecting the Keeper to have more by way of, uh... of self-defense than, uh... It's not self-defense. More by way of, uh, upgrades than Kidman did. Dartus Diary 2. Are all these other people alive? Are they dead? That's a little disappointing. So I take it that's my daughter. Ah. Yes, well. Physics.
No stamina, I notice. I guess that is in keeping with the Keeper's nature as a metaphor. I got it by clicking the stick in, like you would by activating the, uh, the flashlight or... Okay! That was weird. Ah, oh, there you are. I saw some guy killing the monsters. I think I should go meet him and see what happens. He might know Dad. But just in case he's some kind of creep, I'm going to leave my letters and stuff here. What is with this? I guess maybe I need this for this, but... I've never really been much of a landmine guy in video games. I tend to see things very unsubtly. Not much for traps. Sneeze? That's better. Better out than in, that's not what I always say. Oh, you! Right. Mobius file. Oh, that was easy. Mobius Directive 02. Eliminate test subject CB212. Quote unquote murderer. This experiment will explore a method of extraction from within the STEM environment. Your objective is to rescue your daughter, who is already inside STEM, by eliminating all other connected test subjects. Subject CB212, a convicted murderer, has been completely dominated by STEM. His influence grows, and he's disrupting her daughter's memory patterns. Kill CB212 and assess the girl's condition. Supplementary information. STEM erodes the subject's memories incrementally, gradually altering their personality and their physical appearance until finally the subject is completely dominated by STEM. Based upon the data from the Ruvik incident, it can be inferred that the Ruvik entity was able to leave the STEM system by entering the physical body of the test subject Leslie Withers. This first trial will explore STEM's mental degradation effects on more standard methods of egress. Hmm. Transmissions from the outside as well as tracking within STEM are subject to error and time delays. Use your own judgment in handling any encounters. And look at that, they spelled judgment correctly. <laughs> Connection status, seven subjects. Adolescent female, detective, twin sibling, paroled murderer. Sorry, I thought, these was, I thought this was rattling off the characteristics of a single person for some reason. Ahem! Adolescent female, detective, twin sibling, paroled murderer, psychiatric patient, ex-soldier, father of adolescent female. Well, I assumed the adolescent female was Laura, but... Uh... I don't remember his name. Uh, Ruvik's father died long before Stam was built, so I don't know what's up with that. Hmm. I hope a detective isn't someone I know. That's not Laura. Laura didn't wear a hood, and of course I suddenly remember she had long black hair, of course. It was her defining feature. That's how I knew the monster was meant to be her. Yoink. Daughter's Diary 4. That guy said he was a killer, and his job was to kill monsters. He said that he was collecting these weird tokens and made me help look for them, but when I tried to put one in my pocket, he started screaming and got this scary look in his eyes. He might kill me if I try to run away. He might kill me if I don't.
We've already got more lore than we got in the entirety of, uh... I was gonna make a quake joke, but now I'm distracted by the strange properties of these vases. Vases? Whatever. Urns. Or no, I guess that's an urn. Let's break it. Fuck. Yes, good! Good! And all decorational items, uh, repent. For the time of the hammer is upon you. That's a bomb. Can I defuse that? No. No prompt or anything. Fine. Oh no! Hey, buddy. I use a handle corner as well if you're not looking straight in the right direction. Okay. He fucked off. I'm on this side again, just FYI. Alright, so you're smart enough not to walk into a tripwire. Congratulations. Oh, Christ. But yeah, uh... Other than having more lore than Quake 2, since everything has more lore than Quake 2, um... I wasn't expecting this from this. I wasn't sure what I was expecting, but I kind of thought it was just going to be like, thank you for playing so much of our game, here's a third ch a DLC chapter that's just mindless violence. I mean, they just straight up told us, yes, Ruvik survived in Leslie's body. By the way, poor one out for Leslie. That really sucks, and he didn't deserve that. There's the timer. I guess I'll call it here. By the warming glow of this lantern. I'll say, send it careening across the room with the merest touch. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Executioner. The DLC chapter for The Evil Within. We continue looking for the murderer and uh, try to put an end to him before he puts an end to our daughter. Later.